Hello friends, welcome to Astro Crescent. My name is Pavan Bhardwaj. I recently posted a video on Celestron Omni AZ-102, a beginner level refractor telescope. Anyone who has interest in the night sky, the moon, the stars, the planets may have purchased a beginner level telescope like the one I have here. Uh, I recently got this Celestron Omni AZ-102 refractor telescope at a very good price. But these beginner level telescopes, they have their own limitations. Although this comes from a well-known company, Celestron, or any other good company, the optics are of good quality. Uh, it requires manual movement of the azimuth and the altitude axis to point to a, a target, which sometimes becomes difficult, especially when uh, someone is really a beginner and doesn't have good knowledge of the night sky. Locating the target, pointing to the target, and centering the target through the eyepiece, it, that becomes a little troublesome. So even if you are able to center the target, taking pictures is a little more difficult. And even when uh, the scope is centered on a target, taking pictures with a cell phone or a DSLR camera or a specific astronomy camera, it's not that easy. I don't say it is difficult, but it's not easy either. This may be a problem for any serious beginner, especially when the clear nights are rare, nobody wants to spend their entire night uh, messing around with these all dash knobs. This is when someone wants to have go-to functionality, some automation. So after some research, I decided to buy the Skywatcher AZ GTI go-to mount. Here it is. So this budget go-to mount has built-in Wi-Fi. It has a database of uh, over 42,900 objects. It can be operated with a hand controller or with a phone or, or even a computer. And it is lightweight, weighing just 4.5 kilograms. This means this is portable. You can uh, dismantle all of the parts and put them in a bag and uh, take it to a dark site or anywhere you want. Uh, this mount can be upgraded to a full equatorial mount. You just have to add a latitude base and proper counterweight here and it becomes a, a functional mount for astrophotography. So let's see what comes in a box, unboxing time. After that, I will review some of the features of this mount.
So now that uh, we have completed the assembly of this mount, let's talk about some features. This mount is only four and a half kilograms, it's lightweight. It is a portable. You can move it around in your backyard or just uh, dismantle the whole assembly, pack it in a bag and take to it outside. Although it has uh, 1.25 inches legs, uh, it is still strong. It can take a payload of about 11 pounds or uh, 5 kilograms. That means you don't have to worry about uh, shaky images when you are capturing uh, with your phone or a tablet or a computer or even DSLR. The stability ensures that the images remain stabilized. And if you still think you need a more heavyweight tripod, uh, there are 3 by 8 inch uh, threads in this pier extension and also below this mount so you can attach uh, any of these two to a heavier tripod, a camera tripod, like the one here. I have here, this is Inoral, which can take a load of 40 kilograms. You can power the mount with the eight 1.5 volt double A size batteries, like the ones we have here, I have here. Or if you prefer, You can use an external power tank like this. I have here Celestron. Insert it here. In that case, the internal batteries will not be used. This is good uh, when you want to use the mount for long hours of exposure or when you are using it for astrophotography. The built-in Wi-Fi capability of this mount means that you can connect uh, the mount to the SynScan app on your phone the mount has a database of over 42,900 objects. That means you don't have to know the night sky. The app, SynScan app, will show the tonight's best targets. You can also connect it to a SynScan hand controller. Uh, but when you are connecting uh, to the SynScan app, you don't have to worry about the night sky. You don't have to be an expert uh, in the night sky. Anyone with little or no knowledge of the night sky can surf the night sky using the 42,900 plus objects of database in the SynScan app. It is also possible to connect this mount to other apps like Sky Safari or even uh, ASI Air Pro or Air Plus. A built-in tracking feature of this mount means that you don't have to worry about movement of the target during the night. The mount will take care of that. This is especially helpful when you are uh, taking images or when you are using the mount for astrophotography. The dual encoder Freedom Find technology means if you unlock the altitude or azimuth knobs after alignment, the mount will remember its position. You can move the mount and after you lock the knobs again, you don't have to repeat the alignment procedure again. I will cover the alignment uh, process in another video. This is not just an alt S mount. It does not just move in horizontal axis or vertical axis. It can easily be converted to an equatorial mount uh, by adding a latitude base here. When a latitude base is added, this becomes a fully functional equatorial mount that can be used for uh, long exposures in astrophotography. You might also have to add counterweights here for proper balancing. And for those who use DSLR cameras, the shutter release cable can be attached here and the SynScan app has certain special features like uh, repeated 60 second exposures or time lapse photography. Those features are also built in. I have seen YouTube videos uh, wherein people are using this mount with uh, smaller refractors like the Red Cat 50, uh, William Optics Zenith Star 61 and even uh, Skywatcher Evolux 60 with their full imaging train, including the dedicated astronomy cameras, filter wheels, their guide scopes. So in my opinion, this Skywatcher AZ GTI mount is the best budget go-to mount for a beginner in astrophotography. As soon as the weather permits, I'll take this mount out 